Morning, in the middle of the island today, looking at a house called Bellori. This video should all be stamped up with website details and as such like, but there will be a new interactive button. I'm not a specialist, but if you click on it, you will be able to go straight to the details of the property. Part of this is because I don't mention prices, and a lot of people recently say to me, you really should reconsider mentioning prices. Well, yes and no. The problem is if prices change, you kind of got to go into a full edit. So, anyway, I should think everything will be fairly obvious to you. So, let's go over the house. The house is called Bellori. It's a very unique home. It really embraces the idea of living in a covered terrace. You are kind of in the middle of the countryside and you are, I don't know, five, ten minutes to the airport, five, ten minutes to Bridgetown. I got here this morning from the West Coast in 16 minutes. I know that because the woman on my maps told me this. Right, Let's show you room by room. Outside here, the whole house is situated around this courtyard. This rocky or rockier area in the middle is a stream and it's lit at night, absolutely stunning. Um, you can also get down into it this way. There are people wandering around the house um, because we are still doing work in the house and it's a video after all. Uh, gives you an idea of the bathrooms, styling, everything is all about light and space. Uh, design, the architect who designed this is called Roldano Blory. Excellent architect, can't recommend him highly enough. He will be on our links page on the website in due course. Be one of the architects of uh, affiliate, affiliation? I don't know. It's a shame that I can't talk this morning because I'm about to try and describe a house. Ah, dogs are in the house. Never hear the end of that, I'm sure. Beautiful high ceilings, absolutely stunning. Wonderful doors there, but let me go through this, otherwise we're going to... This is a little TV nook over here. I say little. Ah, oh, just caught you in time for the advert. Look at the ceilings, all these different levels and different angles. Excellent. Wonderful kitchen. Leading out onto a dining area. Loads of storage. Sorry, it went very dark there. Loads of storage here again. I'm going to bang the drum about the ceilings. It's beautiful wood ceilings. All these Caribbean style push out windows with lovely wooden louvers in them. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Let's the breeze in. It's also good security. I think I'm going to get caught in the mirrors today. I think I am. And this is your view over to. To Bridgetown, I guess, in the distance, and all the cruise ships that stuck here, sadly, through the pandemic. I thought they'd all left. Um, there were about seven or eight here. I'll be taking some long-range shots of that later on, which you'll see in the photographs. A good-sized garden, perfect for a swimming pool, because I always say you want to build, because rock is so prevalent here, within you know a foot, a foot and a half, you want to build almost an overground pool is almost ideal uh, and there with the topography uh, it lends itself so like I said you'll have to excuse the dogs just give you an idea of this room it's, it's really special these doors sadly we haven't got open there's another room down here to the right which could be a further bedroom Which is very good. Very good, very good. And that's the outlook onto the inner courtyard. Clever design of security up at the top. Feels very natural because of the use of wood. Um, and no one's sneaking in that way, of course. This is the bar and entertainment room over here. Storage room just behind it. It's not a big storage room. It's about, you know, well, you can see the depth of it there. Um, fully enclosed bar over here. Or was. But plenty of room for entertaining. These dogs are following me around. 
very cute. So you can see what I mean here. You could actually have a pool, a deck on top and a pool coming out from it without too much fuss. These chains are for when it rains, the water comes down the chains. Wonderful. And a lovely covered deck and patio here. Like I say, all these glass doors open and we haven't got them open this morning for various reasons which are far too long winded to go into. Especially with my lack of ability of talking. But everything is superbly finished. Very well maintained. Very well finished. It's just come off a long term rental. Um, which I think is frustrated maybe is the right word. I got a window light up there. I don't like to move too quickly. It's before you know it. So this, this stairwell that I'm going up to now leads to three bedrooms up here, all en suite. Just go, come on, focus, me and the camera. All have walk-in closets, as you can see. This contrast, Roldano has always been one for this contrast of natural materials. And, and you know whitewash so you've got the contrast of the modern and the and the woody feel like here you've got this I don't know if I can get this on the video I hope I can you walk in obviously the toilet is at one level something you'll use more one would assume than a shower and the shower is sunk below it a couple of steps down let me go down into it give you an idea and then that white cement they've actually got moulded in there I'll show you now. Good excuse not to look at the mirror. This wonderful sink. Moulded like that. Simple ideas taken to another level. Absolutely brilliant. As always, that blue, it's not blue. Oh, there I am. Uh, as always, that blue isn't blue. It's just a video fighting to change. I am amazed. Uh, after the first time of coming here a couple of weeks ago, and the weather hasn't been very kind to us, but after, I love these corner air conditioning units. And again, the roof lines, are, ceiling lines are very special. It's so breezy here. It's very hot this time of year. Weather doesn't know if it wants to rain, or well, it does want to rain. Um, it'll be stormy or just hot. Or... So, all the bedrooms are our suite. I'm second guessing myself now that I've said that, but no, I am right, they are. And the same kind of design here, I had these lights turned on, the white cement finish, the, the toilet, and then the drop off there to the shower. Drop off is probably a bad phraseology when thinking about showers. Again, push out windows just adds to that Caribbean feel. I can imagine how nice it would be, nice, <laughs> uh, to, to, to wake up here, just, just brilliant, and again, the use of the security roof that feels natural as opposed to you know grills or I'm walking on the outside of the corridor here more push out windows here hoping that this bedroom is now sorted out and it is that lovely lady very efficient like I said it looks a bit spartan at the moment the owner would have said that to me himself because it's coming off the back end of a long-term rent so therefore it's only him here at the moment so he's really you know the, the house is not as full as it might be. I don't like showing people's bathrooms, but here you got his and hers, my old gag, being 2020, could be his and his, hers and hers, it and it. Shouldn't say that, I'll probably get letters. You can't joke about things like that. I've had some funny comments recently on my video channel. That's very peculiar. And dogs are still following me around, you know. More of the roof line. Clearly I've got a thing about roof lines, haven't I? I must admit, I grew up in a beautiful place as a kid and I kind of, my bedroom was in the roof so it had all the different roof lines. It's got to be something like that that has triggered this weird passion of mine. Yeah, the dog's running off in the distance as you see. So here we go again, this wonderful bridge that links, so if you come in at night you don't have to go through the whole living room because it's a big house. So you don't necessarily have to go through the living room. You can literally, just to show you here, walk in the front door here, as I mentioned before. Walk in here, and where you walk in here, you've got a choice 
I'm heading to the kitchen to cook a bacon sarni in the middle of the night. Okay, my choice, my words. Or, no, 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 it's bedtime for Bonzo. And straight over to the bedroom wing. So you've got three bedrooms here. Potential for another one a bit lower down. There's also a basement area that could be used. And then there's this sort of wonderful tower type feel here which leads you up to a very large master bedroom. I've just seen the largest squashed mosquito, huge. Like, really hoping it's not a mosquito, because if they're coming that size now, it's a little scary. Is that gonna show properly? Yeah, kinda. I do think it's one of those properties that I'm gonna have to look at in detail um, on a big screen. But it is, this video is gonna go live. Has to, it's been too long. Big walk in. I'll show you the bathroom here. This again, this all opens, obviously, as you can see. Got a door there, got a little patio here from your bathroom. Just adds to the feeling of space, you know. Just constantly there's a corridor below that was in the bedrooms that I mentioned earlier. Double sinks, enough of the gags about sinks. Toilet to the right, more storage here. That's great, it's really very cool. Toilet can close off with these doors here. It's a really lovely design. Why do people always have to cut grass when I'm doing a video? I either get done by the mirror or I get done by the grass cutting. King size four post of bed and taking up no room. Wonderful echo. Hello. Look at that again. Okay. Well, I would say, I can't find many faults with this house, but I would strongly suggest that that fan does probably, probably they don't need it because it's so breezy. But I think you probably need one on a longer on a longer drop pole. Technical term that, drop pole. There's a fan company out of America, and I'm not being rude, it's called the Big Ass Fan Company. Unbelievable, they're so clever. How can a fan be clever? Look them up and you shall see. On a really clear day, this is the clearest day we've had in a while, on a really clear day, I can't express to you enough how stunning that view is all the way through to the south over here yeah south over there absolutely right that's the oh anyway I won't harp on I think that's Warren's over there actually let me zoom in a bit give you an idea of how close you actually really are even though you're tucked away where is it Come on, zoom. Focus even. Yeah, pretty sure that's Warren's. Well, that's something very kind to me, is it? Anyway, the view is part of this house, so, you know, I am going on a bit. Um, bits of the roof look like they need love. I think some of it probably does, but at the end of the day, it's a wall of shingle, so they do turn up naturally. And yes, I think in fairness, some of it does need some love. lovely time of day. It's the kind of place you come to in the morning you actually don't want to leave. It's got that kind of, it's so fresh the air up here. Fresh, fresh, exciting. I wonder if someone's going to complain that this video isn't professional enough. Oh well, can't please all the people all the time. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. It's got a lovely flow to it, this home. Really has. And a wonderful, wonderful flow to it. Every way... Every, this house has got that thing about it that you could stop in any place and just enjoy the moment. <laughs> it actually reminds me of St Lucia like that. I always say St Lucia is the island of the Kodak moment. Every time you turn your head, you're going, good God, it's a Kodak moment. Oh, my goodness me. I mean, I'm standing here looking out in front... Lovely. Looking out above, you're thinking, how nice, it feels open. I look to the right, 
just feels again just feels open feels like you're in a covered terrace which i suppose effectively you are looking over to the left where the dogs are just ducked in and out of the bedroom area brilliant just brilliant the whole thing so it's secure it's beautiful and it's on sandcastle caribbean i'm delighted to say and i'm hoping that this will be our first video that there will be a button an interactive button that you'll be able to click on and it will take you straight to the listing link where you'll find photos the price and the such like so there we go Belori Belori in Barbados named after the architect